Should you go to college? And if so, how did it break it to your parents? So me personally, as you guys know, I am in college. I'm in college actually right now. I'm just chilling in the parking lot just because it's raining outside and it's dark, so I need light. But it's it's a very iffy topic. Today's world, uh, as you know, there's multiple opportunities in social media and gaming and all the shit that our parents told us we couldn't do, people are doing today. Like, just think about it. Like, Gary Vaynerchuk always says, like, think about the times where you were back in middle school and your parents told you to get off the game or told you not to spend more than an hour or so on a game. But then if you look at today, there are those same kids who didn't listen to their parents and now they're making, like, millions of dollars a year playing games, esports, and they, they've built a brand for themselves and all this crazy shit that's going on. And our world's really going through a lot of shit that's changing the basically the reality of how we can use our time daily like you don't have to necessarily get a job or off the jump you can build your own brand your personal brand and make a hell of a better income off of that now in regards to the college aspect i've always wondered this question and i think i'm finding out the answer right now because i'm going through a lot of shit and i mean that's just me personally like day to day i struggle with this shit and honestly, I don't like talking about it a lot because, I mean, not to sound like a little bitch or anything like that, but it gets me emotional because to have your parents down your back all the time and have them to tell you that you have to go to college, you have to do this and that, and if you don't, then you're going to struggle, you're going to fail, you're not going to have a secure job, and constantly feeding the negative energy into you that entrepreneurs, especially our age, don't need at all, it beats, it beats the fuck down out of you. And I'm telling you from personal experience, you'll probably hear it in my voice. But shit's crazy. Parents, they, they have the best interest in you, but they don't have the necessary experience to kind of back that up. And what I mean by that is they can say you need a job, you need this and that, because they have the years on you. But when it comes down to it, you measure their, where they're at in life compared to where you want to be in life. And you compare that advice, what they're giving, compared to the people who are where you want to be in life to what they're saying. It's two, wholly, two totally different stories. Like, if I said today that I wanted uh, to drop out of college and start a YouTube career, my dad would think I'm fucking crazy. Because, one, he doesn't know what the fuck YouTube is. He doesn't know that you can make money off it. He doesn't know any of this shit. So, I mean, that's pretty much all old school parents, and it's something that we have to deal with. But, in regards to deciding to drop out versus organically dropping out or just being forced to drop out, two totally different stories. Me, personally... I'm, I'm in college, I'm a junior, and this is my recommendation from what I've experienced, what I've gone through. Don't drop out or consider dropping out just for the hell of it. I mean, it makes no sense because it, it is a safety net in a sense. Like, you can get a lot out of college, but you don't want to just drop out just to say you dropped out and then go try to start something. The thing that happens for entrepreneurs and uh, people who are building businesses that end up dropping out it's usually because they're spending so much time building that business that they just put that before the work. I mean, that's just straight up to it. Like, they put that before the work and it gets time consuming. Like, when you're building businesses and you're trying to excel in life in a way that college might not be able to get you to, it takes a lot of time out of you. It's not a part time thing. You can't, you can make some money part time, but you can't, like, make a sustainable income and become a millionaire or a billionaire just by part-time efforts. It's a full-time commitment. And if you're spending all your time working on it at this age, then you're gonna realize that it's, it's fucking hard. Like, I'm just telling you from my experience, people ask me all the time, Tracy, why don't you go to parties? Why don't you do this or that? Do you wanna go out? And I say no. And they ask me that, and not that I don't want to, it's just that mentally, my mind is not right there with uh, any anybody else who wants to go to parties all the time like if I go to a party five minutes into the party I'm sitting there I'm like what else can I do right now to help my business like I'll hop on my phone in the middle of a party and I'll start running ads or I'll start uh, doing Instagram marketing looking for influencers I start doing all this shit when I'm supposed to be having fun and I know that sounds bad or it sounds like I'm not enjoying myself but that's just my state of mind like I cannot mentally help that like I'm so I'm so driven that's the name of the channel I'm so driven to reach a certain level within a crunch time period that I cannot waste a single day and that's just fact so like 
when you have that mentality in college, you start looking around and you start asking yourself, like, what makes me different or why aren't these people going to be where I want to be or why should I hang out with them? You start asking yourself all these questions and, I mean, shit comes on to haunt you and you're going to have times where you're alone, you're going to have times where you're sitting in your dorm and you can't really talk to anybody about your issues, you can't, you can't deal with your problems the normal way you would by going out and partying and having fun all the time because you're just sitting there thinking that you're wasting time. And time is one of the biggest factors. And like I said, when you're in college, especially when you start uh, progressing in the college levels, like I'm a junior right now, work starts to pile up and it starts to somewhat relate to your uh, major. Mine's entrepreneurship, uh, like obviously, and marketing. But in the grand scheme of things, I probably have one class that I use on the daily, and that's professional writing. So if you're in college, you have this mentality, take the class because it will help you with ad copy marketing and all that shit that you actually use on the daily but everything else history and all that shit that that doesn't fucking help me because i don't need to know uh what year 1984 started in just because i'm not going to be selling 1984 products if that makes sense but i mean shit today is today is a whole new world and that's why i start this channel because i know what it's going to come to and I'm not the smartest man in the world, but I have brains. And I recommend you uh, read the book Flash Foresight. And it'll tell you how to predict shit that's going to happen or where the world's going to go to. And right now, if you can't see it, it's moving towards internet. If you're not on the internet, then you're going you're gonna to lose. So, I mean, that's, that's my little advice on how to handle this shit. You have to be straight fucking forward with your intentions. Like, you can't beat around the bush because if shit happens, being, they can't be surprised because they're going to put it all on you and that's going to fuck you up even more mentally. So you have to be straight up with them on your intentions. Let, you, let them know what you're doing with your time. Let them know where your mind is. And let them know why your mind is there. And back it up with information. Back it up with people who are going to be where you want to be or are where you want to be. So that either way it goes, they're going to try to protect you. They're going to say it's wrong. But in the end, you need to know that they know what you know if that makes sense like it might sound stupid but they need to at least know where your frame of mind is so they don't think you're just like another dropout because there's a difference between dropping out and not doing shit with your life or being a dropout just because you don't want to do shit with your life because you party all the time and shit like that versus someone who drops out just because they mentally are fucking like at their capacity they're stretching themselves to such an extent that they're stressed out all the time and you're looking at someone who does that all the time like every hour of the day that's why I stopped YouTube for a minute because my mind I was working this whole summer from like 6 in the morning to fucking 5 at night and then instead of shooting a video from like maybe 5 to 6 and editing from 9 to 10 I go straight to the computer start marketing start testing start writing Shopify start I did whatever I could in that little bit of time and then once I got back to college that's when I started making the transition from that work mentality to at least producing some content to help other people out while I work on myself so I mean it's all about time time is the most valuable asset you can have in life and when you're in college if you have to weigh it out you have to understand that if your degree is not going to get you where you want to be then what will and then once you find out what will work towards that and if it gets to that point then consider the shit but just have people know what you're doing like make it public don't keep it in don't keep it to yourself because if you do people are going to judge the fuck out of you not to say that it matters but your parents need to know what your intentions are where you want to go and once they know at least in the back of their mind deep and deep down in their hearts they can have some at least easiness about themselves on how you're doing in life as, as opposed to just oh my son or my daughter is going to be a drug addict they're going to flunk out they're going to work at mcdonald's over life and they're not going to be shit they need to know that you're going to be shit that way they can even in the most slightest way possible support you in it so i mean oh. i mean that's my advice to young entrepreneurs you're going to see me 
talk about this more and more just because this is what I go through daily. I don't really share my personal life, but when you're dealing with college, you're dealing with entrepreneurship, you're trying to make it in life, this is a shit you will have to deal with daily. And I, I'm telling you that from experience. So if you have high ambitions, don't ever let someone influence you to avoid them. Don't tell someone to stop. Don't, t don't let someone tell you to stop what you're doing, stop your business, stop learning, stop educating yourself. Don't let anyone, anyone at all, not even your loved ones, tell you you can't do something. Because I guarantee I can tell you if you put your mind to it, you will be able to. But I'm going to stop this because it's getting late and I'm getting hot in this car. As you can see, I'm probably sweating. But um, yeah, I'm about to get back to my door and start editing this video. Get it out this week. And I'll get you guys in the next video. If you're new to this channel, subscribe. We do a lot of entrepreneurship topics, Shopify, college shit. But if you're new, subscribe if you enjoy this video. You want more personal videos like this, more face-to-face -face advice. Feel free to let me know in the comments. Leave a like, subscribe if you're new. And share this video if you think it will help someone else. Or if you know someone who's going through this shit, share it with them. Because that means the world to them. And I mean, the, my main goal is to affect other people in a positive manner. And to get to continue to spread the word, spread the inspiration, and spread the experience so you're not like blindly walking into life and entrepreneurship. But peace out. See you guys in the next little video.